Hello, it's Matt Cook here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're finding me for the first time, I'm a manifestation coach who helps people from all around the world consciously manifest their reality. Now, in this particular video, one that continues to blow my mind, we're diving deep into quantum mechanics, specifically collapse of the wave function and the observer effect. So if you're interested in understanding how your own observation dictates the reality that you're living in and how you can consciously manifest your life, then you'll want to listen to this video. Now, the one thing that I teach, the one thing that I talk about on my social media channels is the fact that manifestation isn't magic. In fact, my role here as a researcher and a coach is to break down for anyone around the world to understand the simplicity of manifestation and how it's not magic. It is the fact that we are ourselves creators. And my goal, my mission is to help you become a conscious creator and consciously understand how a combination of visualizing, feeling and acting can actually ultimately create a new future. Whereas unconsciously, the majority of people are unconsciously unaware of how they are unconsciously thinking, acting and feeling, and therefore unconsciously continuing to create a future that is not serving them. So with that said, let's dive into today's topic, which is quantum mechanics, collapse of the wave function and the observer effect. So firstly, let's start with quantum mechanics. The one thing that fascinates me about this subject is that on a very small micro level beyond the fabric of our knowns and what we can see with our five senses is the quantum world. And the quantum world continues to blow my mind because it doesn't behave in the same way that let's say Newtonian physics once understood. And this is where when we understand this on a deeper level, we truly understand that we are these creators and we all have this innate power within to actually create our own reality. Now, if you follow me on the likes of Instagram and TikTok, you'll know that I'm slightly obsessed with something called the quantum field. And the quantum field is a really interesting subject to me because it basically dictates that on a quantum level, there is a field around us that I call pure consciousness. It's a field of energy that bounds and unifies everything in our existence. In fact, on a quantum level, this field called the quantum field is truly infinite. In fact, there is an infinite amount of energy that exists there. Now, if we think about it, all energy moves and oscillates at different frequencies, right? And frequency carries information. So if you tune into, let's say, a specific frequency on a radio, you're going to pick up that information, which, of course, is hearing whatever's being played on that radio. So therefore, that means if you can tune into a specific frequency in the quantum field, you're going to pick up that information. Now, it's important to understand that you yourself are just an energetic being and the way you're thinking, acting and feeling at all times in the present moment is creating your own unique signature vibration, which is therefore releasing an information. And that information is the life of you, your personal reality. So if you're unconsciously thinking, feeling and acting for most of your life, then you're unconsciously aware of the vibration that you're in. And therefore, you're unconscious of the fact that you're just picking up the same information. Right. So in order to manifest, we have to firstly be conscious of how we're thinking, acting and feeling and then very consciously change the vibration that we're on to pick up new information. Now, think about this. If in the quantum field there's an infinite amount of energy that's moving at different frequencies and all frequency carries information, that means then that there is an infinite amount of future potentials called your life. So whatever it is that you seek to manifest, I want you to understand already exists right now as a potential of energy in the quantum field. And the question then is, how can you consciously draw that energy to you in your life and see that manifestation actually appear? Well, that's where we dive into collapse of the wave function. 
Now, before we get there, I just want to explain something to you. The fabric of our known and perceived reality all around us, let's take the human body, for example, we perceive to be physical. When in actual fact, if we were to break it down from a scientific point of view, we have skin on the surface level and then we have bone, flesh, molecule, cell. And if we keep going deeper and deeper, then eventually we'll get to something called an atom. And in fact, the interesting thing about the atom is if you break down anything physical in your world, in fact, even thoughts, feelings and, and energy, you get down to atoms. So it's very well known then that atoms are the building blocks of all things physical in our reality. And what I want to use for that example is just this bouncy ball that I have here right now. I want you to imagine that's the atom, but of course the atom you can't see with your naked eye. Now the atom behaves in the same way as you and I. It moves through space and you see the atom moving through space, just like you. If you were to move around, you would see yourself moving through space. Now it's important to understand that time is created through how physical objects move through space. So if the atom moves through space, it experiences time. And the longer the space, the longer the time. So if the atom wanted to move from one hand here to this hand here, it might take a second because of the gap. And as it travels, there's the second. If I increase the length, then it takes a little bit longer. And that's called space-time reality. So in order to uh, experience time, the atom moves through space and the atom itself is the building block of you. But when we dive even deeper, I started wanting to understand what the atom itself was made from. And the atom is made from something even smaller, such as electrons or photons. And I want us just to keep it simple with the word subatomic particles, sub the atom particles, okay? Let's say particles. And what we're going to use in this little analogy is a bit of blue tack that I have here. We're going to imagine that that is the subatomic particle. So there's the atom, there's the subatomic particle. So the way to remember it is that below the atom, what makes the atom is the subatomic particle. Now, what's interesting about the subatomic particle is it doesn't move in the same way as the atom. It doesn't move through space to experience time. It doesn't do that. It doesn't move through space. It appears in one state and then it simply disappears. And when scientists were first looking at this, something truly amazing happened. And this is where collapse of the wave function and the observer effect first came in through a very interesting topic, an experiment called the double slit experiment. And what scientists were able to see was that wherever they placed their observation, whether that was themselves looking or any equipment, would dictate where this subatomic particle appeared. So if they were looking here, the subatomic particle would be here. The moment they moved their observation, the particle disappeared. But what was interesting about it is it was disappearing back into an infinite amount of potentials. And wherever the scientist's observation moved to would dictate where that particle reappeared. So as they look somewhere else, the particle appeared. As they move their observation, it would reappear. So it was almost not, it was definitely not traveling through space. It was disappearing and then out of nowhere reappearing just based on observation, right? So what you have to realize is that everything around us is a wave. The wave is energy. The wave is the quantum field. In fact, we are the wave. The quantum field creates us. So as the scientist's observation changed, the wave here of energy would collapse into form, would collapse into the particle. And then the particle, remember, is the building block of the atom. And the atom is the building block of you and I and everything else. So then when I started looking at this and started to understand it on a deeper level, I started to realize something that when I first started helping my clients manifest, I kept seeing them manifest out of nowhere. And they would say to me, Matt, my manifestations are appearing out of nowhere. And I realized something that what my clients were doing is they were changing their observation because for years, five years, 10 years, unconsciously, they were looking this way defining their life on the past, 
their trauma, their problems. And of course, just by observation, the wave was collapsing into the particle, into the atom, and then of course, manifesting the same life that they'd been used to. So what changed then, of course, was when I got my clients to start meditating and visualizing, and they would simply change their observation from here to all of a sudden now being defined by a new future. And as they were being defined by a new future and mentally rehearsing every day, out of nowhere, this wave would collapse into a particle, into an atom. And then, of course, they would say, Matt, the most amazing things happen. Matt, you're not going to believe it. I've had this serendipity, this synchronicity, this opportunity out of nowhere. Why? Simply down to conscious observation. The moment they change their observation was the moment they saw these particles collapsing from wave to atom to manifestation. So it really is that simple. We don't need to dive into it any more than that. Through your own observation dictates where the wave turns to the particle and then turns to the atom and then turns into everything known in your life. So in order to start with manifestation, don't want, don't hope, look within. Look at your own thoughts and feelings and change your observation from here to here. First, become aware of the thoughts and feelings that are no longer serving you. Be the master and then every day mentally rehearse. Because if I said to you, do you believe that your thoughts have some sort of an impact on your future? And I'd like to think you'd say yes now after watching this video, then you'd definitely not be defined by that. Instead, you would wake up every single day in meditation, and you would be mentally defined by a future potential. And every time you did that, you are collapsing a wave of energy, a wave of infinite potentials into a particle, a subatomic particle, which is matter. And then trust me, if you keep on doing this out of nowhere, you are going to see the most amazing opportunities in your life. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you re read the description below, if you are finding me for the first time, you'll be able to see how you can find me on all my other social media channels. You can check out my coaching and everything else that I have to offer. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, a like, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, share it with anyone else that you think might find it useful. My purpose in life is just to help you create your best life. So with that said, I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you in another video soon.